Hi, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on Aloha Mediumax Control Protocol. Dr. Norman Ambrason and Dr. Franklin Kuo and their colleagues designed and developed the pioneering computer networking system AlohaNet at the University of Hawaii in the 1970s. Indeed, in June 1971, the Aloha Packet Radio Data Network began providing inter-island access to computing facilities at the University of Hawaii. That was the first time when a wireless packet data network was demonstrated publicly using simple random access protocols, which is one of the fundamental multiple access protocols. A multiple access protocol allows two or more devices connected to the same transmission medium to share its capacity and it operates in the max sublayer of the OSI and TCP IP models. Other well-known multiple access uh, schemes are the FDMA, TDMA and CDMA. Let us now dive deeper to see how the ALOHA protocol works. ALOHA offers a simple communication protocol where each individual device of the network may transmit the data whenever it wishes to do so. According to the implementation of the ALOHA protocol, it is classified into two categories. The original version of the ALOHA protocol is named Pure ALOHA. In Pure ALOHA, the transmission time is continuous. Thus, whenever a transmitting node has a frame to transmit, it does so. The transmitter then listens the medium for round-trip time RTT to check if the transmission was successful. In other words, it is waiting to receive the acknowledgement from the receiver. If the acknowledgement is received, the transmission is considered as successful and it may send the next frame if there is one. If no ACK is received within a fixed time period, because for example there was simultaneous transmission of multiple frames over the same radio channel which caused a collision, the transmitter assumes that the transmission was failed. Then it waits for a random amount of time. This random time duration is called back of time. The random nature of back of time helps to reduce the collision probability. Indeed, if multiple devices who have not received acknowledgement will retransmit the frame after rather a fixed time period, then this will lead to frame collision again. After completion of a back of time, the transmitter retransmits the same frame. It will continue to retry for a predefined number of times and then it drops the frame if there is no success. Pure Aloha works well when traffic is very limited. However, it is unstable when the network is loaded. The advanced version of Pure Aloha is called Slotted Aloha and it came into existence to improve the throughput efficiency of the former. In Slotted Aloha, the continuous time is divided into a number of discrete time intervals called slots. Now, a transmitting node can transmit only at the beginning of each slot. If it does not transmit at the beginning of the current slot, then it will have to wait for the next slot. However, there can still be a collision if two or more nodes transmit at the beginning of the same time slot. Indeed, if the acknowledgement is not received, then the frame is considered lost and it is retransmitted in another slot after considering back of time. To conclude, in slotted aloha, a successful frame transmission takes place only when in each individual slot only a single frame is transmitted. If no frame is transmitted in a slot, then it will remain idle. Aloha gained worldwide popularity for its simplicity and applicability within a shared medium. The extensive use of Aloha protocols led to the development of Career Sense Multiple Access, or CSMA, a listen before sent random access protocol, which was the basis for subsequent Ethernet development and later Wi Fi technology.